Hey there, if you found this video, you are probably also stuck on trying to get 4K recording to work with your Logitech Brio and OBS on a MacBook Pro. These are some things that I did to make my MacBook Pro behave with that setup and record a video like this. So the first thing you want to do is a physical thing. And what I did is I went out and bought a real high quality, high throughput uh, USB-C to USB-C cable. And I plugged the camera directly into my laptop, USB-C to USB-C. Um, I tried to get the fastest cable I could get out there. And I think I spent 15 US dollars on it. But things like the video flashing and flickering that looked like a power issue went away for me uh, a lot of the slowness and so forth went away for me and that probably took care of 80 percent of my problems right there now i'm going to take you into obs and the first image i'm showing you here is the main menu and I've highlighted three areas that we're going to go in and look at. The first is going to be the device properties. So you click on the source and then you click on the properties and then you can go in and change resolution and other things. The second button is on the right side and it's the settings and that'll let us set the configuration, most of the configuration to our uh, output video. And then on the lower part in the red highlighted as well, it has the little gears or the cogs and that will let us delay our voice. So a lot of times our computer can't keep up with how fast it has to write these big files and we can delay our audio in order to match how long it takes to write the video. And that part is just a little bit of trial and error and it's probably the most annoying part of this whole process. Now, when you click on properties for the device image, you're going to get a menu kind of like this. And you can see this is how I set up my Brio where my FPS is 24. Um, for some reason, I couldn't get 30 frames per second. I could only get 24 reliably. Um, and then all the rest I leave as default. So I don't really mess with any other um, settings in this particular menu. Now under the settings button, under the video pane, this is how I set up my Logitech camera. I set the base and the output to be the exact 4K resolution. So that way there's no uh, interpretation or interpolate, interpolation going on. And then um, I also set my frames per second to equal what I set the camera to, which is 24 frames per second. Again, this is all that I could get reliably out of my setup. In the output pane, it looks like this. And I highlighted in red what you'll want to change. For me, I turned on the, in the hardware encoder. I enabled the, um, or under the encoder settings, I set the bit rate to 200. Mm, let me say that again, 200 megabits per second, um, which is all the zeros kilobits per second there. And, uh, I will say to record this video, I had to actually lower it to 100 hundred kilobits per second and that's a number that I experiment with I haven't read a lot online about the best way to set that other than some general guidelines from YouTube that I've linked in the blog article that I've linked to this video and then down there at the bottom you see I turn on the profile high Now, a lot of times your video is a little slower than your audio and you have to delay your audio to meet your video. And how I did it was to go into the audio 
settings or that little gear at the bottom and then add a delay. And the delay just kind of matters on what your setup is. It usually starts anywhere around 200 milliseconds. And I've delayed all the way up to, on average, maybe up to 500 milliseconds, but I've even delayed all the way up to like two seconds before when I've experimented with other encoders and so forth. And that's it. Those are my settings. I hope you found them helpful. I've got my blog article that I've, um, I use to make this video with. Also linked in the description if you want the um, the words to what it is that we're doing as well. So I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Until then, take care.